You're listening to DraftKings Network. Welcome to the Big Sui, presented by DraftKings. Why are you listening to this show? The podcast that seems very similar to the other Dan Lebitard podcast. I'm sorry, I'm not going to apologize for that. <laughs> in fact, the only difference seems to be this imaging. I have been tempted in restaurants just walking past tables to grab somebody's fries that if they're just there. That hasn't happened to you guys? I've done it. And now, here's the marching man to nowhere, fat face, and the habitual liar. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Agent eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. What is your preference, Dugats, from among the teases? Dentist or Ooh. briefcase? Wow. Dentist, you get to choose. I want to save dentist. I'd like to talk about the briefcase. All right. Yeah. Why, Billy, are you considering becoming a briefcase guy? I heard Tony saying to you, please become one of those. I will bury you every day for being a briefcase guy. Yeah. I mean, that's that's his only move because he's a dumb bully. Oh, like, my so only move of you bringing a of briefcase into an office this where you wear basketball shorts? Pardon. Is this not a place of business? It is. You wear I'm shorts, I'm sorry though. that we're not all dressed like clowns today, but some people come here to work and to advance the company and raise the company's value and at times that involves doing business and businessmen carry briefcases you are not a businessman i am a businessman <laughs> how am i not he's I a modern understand. day <laughs> i take meetings i have a calendar i have zoom links i'm a business are we gonna put a zoom link in a briefcase no i put my laptop inside a briefcase and i put my things my belongings inside a briefcase the problem is is that i'm surrounded by plebeians like you that don't understand what work needs to be done so i need to kind of dress down you know my work gets done with with right here look at these hands this is what my work gets done (laughs) with right here i don't need a briefcase to do work i do work with this you're a construction worker what do you even understand the industry you work in what do you do with your hands Uh, buddy you don't get it you'll get it one day (laughs) why not a laptop bag billy well, I don't, I don't like them. It's a poor man's briefcase. Not literally, wow, but it's geez. just like it's just it's a fake one. attacking right. the poor yeah. now. Good job. It's going. not a no. It's it's a Greg Cody I said line not yesterday. literally. I'm just saying I have a backpack here and I just I feel like a briefcase would add to it. But I also feel like I would be made fun of by people that just don't get it. You know, you are growing up. And I'm you, grown. You are considering <laughs> grown ass man. You mm-hmm. are. You are. Con- I don't know if you're grown yet. Oh, no, I'm kids. well grown. I two of them. Uh, but I'm Bill- the most grown. Billy, I believe yes. You're correct that that would make people the most grown. But the the most the, the way that you dress every day. Yeah. Is not. Uh, briefcase adjacent. Well, it's freezing in here. What the hell do you want me to do? Like I, I'm I'm dressed nice today. I have on a pair of. You slack. wore pants today. Wow. I have- if you came to work, you'd know that I've been wearing pants, but you're I, never here. I was you tell he- everybody how I, I hard you here. work every day. Oh, here I'm we go. We here. came to this country to work. That's, like if you came true. on a raft, which is absurd, you did not. But you come in here like we came to this country to work, and then here. people are just waiting around here for you to do things. So you tell people you're coming in to do this. We can't. We're not doing this again. We already did this on Mystery Crate last week. I'm not having this argument with Tony again. <laughs> Okay. I'm not doing it again because it's a whole thing where he pretends to be the hardest working person here. And then they're like, where's Tony? Oh, he didn't come to work today. Okay. Oh, I was editing a podcast from home. Buddy, you know where you can do that? Right out there. That's there is a schedule that, that gets made. Like, We're getting off point here. The briefcase issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Like, it was Greg Cody's back in my day. He was that- talking about it, and it made me long for the idea of having a briefcase. He did make it sound appealing it did and then i started looking some up they're kind of pricey mm-hmm. but i found this one that was 27 percent off on amazon.com and there, there's Dot different com. compartments and i just i'm not sure i i 54.99 is a bit of a commitment to something that is going to just lead to me getting made fun of is the yes. thing because yes. i know that's what's going to happen because no one's a serious person around here. What, got, would you, what would you carry in the briefcase? I've got a top five list of things that Billy would carry in his briefcase oh, right really? now. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Okay, right. good. Uh, we will get to that in a moment. <sighs> Can't uh, wait. Um, <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but you are, it is practical, but I, it, is anyone pulling that off successfully? Do you, uh, Businessman. Do you, have you seen a lot of people that Not you here. would say that person is stylish? I certainly, in, <laughs> there must be Wall Street types all over the place, yes. but I think of the backpack as also being so much more comfortable. Uh, stylish and also probably is that probably cheaper this is the pro- yeah it's definitely cheaper this is the problem do we work in the fashion industry is this a fashion show no yes. it's a place of business so we should be businessmen not fashion icons like we're going after the wrong thing here if we want to be a serious company 
conducting serious business briefcases. Let's get to it. Top five things found in Billy's briefcase, according to Tony. Number five. (laughs) (laughs) Pop-Tarts. Number four. Random papers. Not that they have anything written on them, but there's just random papers kind of thrown about. Number three. Mac and cheese cups. (laughs) Billy's using the briefcase as a lunchbox now that I think of it. Would those fit? Uh, Billy also claimed to be grown moments ago, and that is what a toddler would fill his you're, briefcase You're talking with. to a camouflage sheep here. Like, what What are we doing? <laughs> no, number two. Number two, Coke. A cola. <laughs> Good clarification. Yeah. A lot of Coke in briefcases. I yeah, actually, you know what? Probably, you know I what? would respect Billy a little bit more if he had a briefcase full of Coke. <laughs> a cola. I think uh, that the things most readily associated with briefcase, that business is third, that it's, it, uh, and now this might be my Miami biases, but I go cocaine and cash one, two, right. and then a distance bronze medalist is, uh, you know. Work uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a notebook. But who's carrying a notebook or folders or papers or anything these days? Nobody. I actually, you know, we'll see how long it lasts. New Year's resolution. I have a, like an actual calendar book. Inspired kind of by Billy. Billy is a big calendar book guy. And I have a calendar book. I'm writing stuff it's down. It's called an agenda. An agenda book. Mm. No, an agenda. You're the pushing book an agenda, Billy. That's I have an agenda. agenda. No, I mean, there's different. Agenda isn't always a book. You could have an agenda list. Like, that's not true what you just said. <laughs> The definition of agenda is not a book. Okay, but hold on a second. I, mean, I, w- I want to explore this. Call it a dictionary a- book. I want to explore this for a second because I do think Billy's got he's got your cornered here. I, I don't, don't think he does. Let's look up the definition I'm of agenda. With f- idiots, it's a, it's pointless. I uh, I I think it it is just an agenda as opposed to a book replete with pages. An agenda of is agendas. a list of meeting activities in the order in which they are to be taken up. That's right. That's not an agenda it book. It could be a book. It could be on a calendar in your kitchen. A legal pad. Hmm. Put it on the poll, please, at Lebitard Show. Billy's just signed back there. He doesn't want to admit he was wrong. It's fine. You now Billy. understand why this place isn't worthy of a briefcase. <laughs> I now understand it. <laughs> number two. That was number number two is Coke. Number one is Nipinga. That's what Billy's going to carry in his suitcase. Nipinga. <laughs> All right. Can someone hand me an agenda, please? Um, <laughs> go to Kansas City, Tony. Oh, oh no! no. You know go right to minus that. zero. Wow. Go to minus uh, <laughs> negative zero. What is, what is that? In Pinga? Uh, Neeping guys, uh, is, without a dick, I believe. Uh, yeah, uh, well, yes, that's the that is. It's like agenda. It has different meanings. <laughs> oh. Good to know. No dick. Uh, um, but Nipinga <laughs> is something that Hispanic people say uh, to. It's the crassest way of saying nothing. What does that person have as a skill set? Nipinga. Nothing. There's, he's got no skill set. <laughs> no skills in That's every right. case. No, no, there's no skills in, in Chris Cody's agenda bookcase. <laughs> a lot of things I got to get done this week, though. And I'm checking them off as I do it. How's this going for you? The details of trying to be an executive producer, because when you well, were, just, I just want to be more organized. But yes, that also is mm-hmm. a goal. Uh, but when you were my assistant, you were bad at it. It was hard to reach you. You didn't have an agenda. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have my agenda. It was hard to reach you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was hard to reach him last week. I was trying to set something up with him, and you know, I was like, "I'm at dinner," and I was like, "I'm taking the kids to school," and then and, and we we He's did a busy guy. We I did mean. the watch party, and I never got to talk to him. <laughs> it went well. <laughs> it didn't go well. Um, is Tony settled in negative zero degree weather, or are we waiting for this? Because nah, yeah, he uh, still. I mean, it takes a while to get to. No, but I want to talk. I, I'll get to the dentist stuff <laughs> another tease Further for the dentist, dentist tease in a second <laughs> wow. but the cold i hate the cold okay i cannot explain to you how much i hate the cold uh it's cubans cold no <laughs> well you're not gonna like vegas because it's yeah. the winter and that yeah. night is gonna get really chilly yep I'm not going to like that, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to like uh, I'm not going to like a lot of things about what we're doing. In it Vegas. scared me away, by the way. Like I'm not going to Kansas City. I was going to go. Remember, I was planning, looking at flights. I mean, flights were expensive, but I was just like n- negative zero. Nope, not for me. <laughs> it is being said that it is one of the coldest NFL games ever to have been played. 
And Stugatz is saying, no, negative zero is balmy. There will be a wind chill. I'm sure it will feel worse than that. Cowboys, Packers, Ice Bowl, 1967 with wind chill, negative 48. I mean, come on. We've had negative 59 during playoff games with wind chill, okay? Uh, the temperature without the wind chill that day for the Ice Bowl, by the way, negative 13, Dan. Let me ask the audience this question. Is there a temperature that would cancel a football game? I know uh, we had a game this year that was like six hours long because we had weather delays. I think it was a Steeler game. Uh, all sorts of lightning and weather delays. Uh, put it on the poll as well, Juju, please, at Lebetard Show. Is there a temperature that would cancel a football game? Because there must be, right? There, I, I remember I told you guys the story, right? We always talk about how tough these guys are, and Peanut Tillman obviously was very tough. And he said he played a game in Chicago where he came out of the locker room, he made the first tackle, and he's like, oh, man, I want to go home. That's it. I don't want to do this anymore. This is not because I need to tough it out or anything else. I'd like to quit right now. This is not, this is not <laughs> humane what we're doing out here. This is going to be very unpleasant as a playoff game for the people playing it. Football is unpleasant enough. I'm seeing that the NFL does not have a specific temperature at which it will automatically call a football game off, but the league does have protocols in place to address extreme weather conditions, including cold temperatures. These protocols prioritize safety, blah, blah, blah. So are you prioritizing safety if it is negative 47 degrees, as Stugat said? <laughs> and now this was this was a long time ago. It has to be but, colder but, than but, that. But my guess is you you correct you guys correct me on this, okay? I tell you it's zero degrees, that's horrifying enough. But 10 to 20 mile an hour winds with it? That wind is going to cut through you. Oh, yeah. my God. It's it going to yeah. be like you're playing football like in a, a turnstile of samurai swords. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's go out to uh, Tony here. He is joining us now from... Uh, wait a minute. Guys, it's cold. <laughs> I try to be tough and take my shirt off, but it's a little chilly up here. I don't know if I'm on the right place for the stadium. I think I'm close. It's getting warmer in I'm here, not, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure. I think the stadium's this way. I think you made a wrong turn. Yeah. <laughs> Left turn to Albuquerque. Where am I? <laughs> wait a minute. I asked you to go to Kansas City and report live this from This isn't Kansas. it? That's Siberia. <laughs> like, wait, you're, you're not in Kansas City. They'd still play in that weather. <laughs> Run up and down. Put a little Vaseline on those, them. Uh, those mountains and peaks. You got to be careful saying put a little Vaseline on oh, it when Stugatz is it. looking at you that way. Hey, yo! I mean, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not, that is not, that looks nothing like Kansas City. Dan, have you been to Kansas City? Yeah, I have been to Kansas oh, City. I thought I was betting on you not being to Kansas really, City. You'd be like, this is right behind the stadium, buddy. You, what are yeah, you talking about? It's right about? next to the barbecue place over there. <laughs> Seasons greetings, everybody. It is Mike Ryan here to talk to you about Miller Lite, but also here to talk to you about this festive season and how Miller time can make holiday time even better. I love this winter weather. It's a great excuse to go outside and toast some wonderful memories with some friends. Why don't you do that with an ice cold Miller Lite in your hand? And in some parts of the country, you don't need a koozie. It just stays cold out there. How wonderful is that? Take a sip, my friends. Look around. Reflect on your year. You made a lot of good calls and no call better than having this Miller Lite right now. A beer that is brewed for taste. You know it's triple hops brewed? They could have stopped brewing it twice with hops, but they didn't. They went that extra mile, and they brewed it with hops three times. The original light beer since 1975, and still the best one. I'm talking about Miller Lite. Great taste, 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com slash Dan to find delivery options near you, or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere they sell beer. Tastes like Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Don Lebatard. You know Literally. what a razor is, Dan? I do not know. I don't know what a Motorola razor is. You don't? No. You, I bet you you had one. I did not have one. Really? Well, let's walk through your phone history. What kind of phone? I never have you had? had a Motorola let's go backwards. razor. I did not have a Motorola razor. What was your razor. first phone? Ooh. Not a Motorola Telegraph razor. Telegraph machine? After that. The, you, the Motorola razor, Dan, was the one that was like really, really thin that like it flipped razor. over, but it was like as thin as like a razor yeah. blade. That's why they called it the razor. What is a telegraph machine? I don't know. They had one in Downton Abbey. Stugats. The what? Titanic, stop. Has sunken, stop. John Jacob <laughs> Astor, stop. Is missing, stop. You think that was my phone? You think that my first phone was uh, the Titanic's 
emergency signal. This is the Dan Lebatar Show with the Stugats. Happy to have Amin El Hassan here. You can catch him oddball with Charlotte Wilder every day except Monday, wherever it is you get your podcasts and also DraftKings Network. His timing is impeccable. His camera presence is magical. He's Amin El Hassan. He's been great around here for a long time. I want to get an opinion from him on the following. I want to know which is the greatest Raptor rant against the referees over the last couple of years. Mm. Is it from last night, the amazing coach Darko? Listen to him here, Stugatz, because he loses his mind. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. That's, that's, that's outrageous. What happened tonight, this is completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the referees, shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in, in the fourth quarter. Like, how to play the game. I, all, I understand uh, respect for all stars and all of that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes, who is all-star caliber player in this league, he goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get, get uh, to, the, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. How is that possible? How are you going to explain it that, that to me? They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barnes is going to be all-star. He's going to be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here ah. d- during whole season, I've been holding you back. <laughs> it's a complete crap. Coach, do you feel like you're getting any explanations at all? That offensive foul? Did you did you see like get any explanation? No, no, there is no explanation. They just they just come up there, they review what and they see what they want to see. They don't want to hear us what we got to say. They don't want to hear the players. They they they, they don't just want to protect us. Over the game, they got 36 free throws, 23 free throws in in the fourth quarter. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? How are we gonna supposed to play? This uh, a one-off, or do you feel this has been happening to your team a lot throughout the season? It's happening a lot, but I'm telling our guys, be professional, keep fighting, keep going for the next one. <laughs> but until when? For how long? Thank you, Doug. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the players have definitely got to pass that collection plate around for that big ass fine he's going to get. Did he forget Scotty Barnes' last name the first time around? He did seem to look down at his list. Scotty, Scotty uh, uh, Barnes, Barnes is going to be the face of this league. <laughs> I mean, the face of the league, coach. Someone needs to follow up. Who there. is that? I feel like I, I'm just happy that he, he said, Thank you, Doug. Like, I like that. Like, thank you, Doug. <laughs> yes, it, it was very cordial at the beginning, and I'd like video to just freeze an assortment of his rage faces there oh, because yeah. uh, you guys, he, he was filled with poison, and that's not even the best one. You guys, I'm going to give you till the end of the segment, but I'd like them to spring up behind me on the big board here <laughs> because he's got an enormous number of rage faces in the middle Have of that. Have fun with that video. Um, but what I'd like uh, before that is I'd like to compare that to last year when Van Vliet went off on the referees in a different way. It wasn't like this. It was with more cursing. And I think uh, it was with less rage, but it was pretty shocking. Let's listen to that. I mean, I don't mind. I'll take a fine. I don't really care. I thought, you know, um, Ben Taylor was f- terrible tonight. Um, I thought that on most nights, you know, couple other you know out of the three there's one or two that just <laughs> the game up you know and it's, it's it's been like that a couple couple games in a row um denver was tough obviously you come out tonight you're competing pretty hard the third quarter i get a bull tech changes the whole dynamic of the game change the whole flow of the game and um you know most of the refs are trying hard i like a lot of the refs are trying hard they're pretty fair they communicate well and then you got the other ones who just want to be dicks and um <laughs> just kind of <laughs> game up nobody's coming to see that they come to see the players and um i think we're losing a little bit of the fabric of what the nba is and was and um it's been disappointing this season um you can look up most of my texts this year have been with ben taylor officiating so at a certain point as a player you feel it's personal your thoughts i mean look fred was concise he was uh, calm. It was surgical the way his was delivered, and expletive 
filled. <laughs> it was cool. He did it right. with his elbows full. He did it super right? cool. But there's something about you, see what you guys don't understand about the Darko rant. That's what I call Euro coach energy. You guys see, you guys are used to coaches talking in euphemisms, talking about like, we didn't get a fair whistle tonight, and kind of like these. No, no, no. That's not how they do it in Europe. In Europe, they go nuts like Darko did. And it was like, it, it brought me back to another time. I was like, oh, when I was watching a lot of European basketball when I was scouting and stuff, and I'm like, oh, the crazy post game rant from Coach Darko. He hit every note. And like Chris said, the most important part was, as he's about to call Scotty Barnes the face, a future face of the league, not of this franchise, of the league, he had to look down and remember his name. He was like, Scotty uh, Barnes, face of the league. Would have been better if he had a cigarette in his hand, right? No doubt. Like the entire time, just like pointing people with the cigarette in his hand? No, no, doing no. And that, like taking getting, a rip? Doing that, getting your point across without, you know, without your heartbeat going up, you know, being very, very calm, getting your point across in a very good way with your arms folded, that's assassin-like. No, no, no. no. Like to me, that's, that's the better rant no. to mean. Ben it, Taylor, by the way, was a referee in both those games. Yes, he was. <laughs> He's the common thread. Maybe he just hates Canada. Maybe we should get Ben Taylor on the line. No, this is what you do. You got the cigarette at first to start just hanging from the lip. And right. as he talks, it's just kind of like, I don't believe that, da, da, da. And then you wait for the next question. Why are you taking the next question? You take a huge drag right. and interrupt the drag in the middle of the question because the question was so, mm -hmm. is, this, is, this a, is this something normal? <laughs> it happens every time. Smoke coming out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, <laughs> just coming out of all orifices as you stamp it out. Put it on the poll, please, Juju. Are we still making Fred's? <laughs> Oh, no, that's not the name that we're, we're, we've stopped making. I'll tell you what the, the name is. I figured this out with Charlotte Wilder earlier. Scotty. There are no Scotties. There used to be Scotties everywhere. What's the last Scotty you heard of? Scotty Miller. Scotty Barnes. Who's Scotty, Scotty Barnes. Who's Scotty Miller? Wide receiver? Great. No, he's <laughs> great. Scott Miller. <laughs> you mentioned he's Fred Scott. the other day. His when His name's Scotty Miller. His name's Scott. <laughs> the the you know Dolphins Scotty. have a running back named hey. Jeff Wilson, and I was just like, Jeff. our running back's name is Jeff you don't like that? It was just like this is not. I feel like you need a better name if you're a running back. What? Just this is Jeff over here. Tony, Marcus. Tony, do you regret saying calling great uh, Scotty Miller the same way that he had a season? I, the same way that I regret calling the Brooklyn Nets above average. Uh, <laughs> no, see, mine mine is subjective. Yours was objective. You're like they are above average and they are very below average. They're just average. Scott. <laughs> I mean, if Tom Brady loves Scotty Miller, I love Scotty Miller. He's a Super Dude, Bowl champion. I'm looking at NFL.com. I'm looking at Pro Football Reference. This man's name is Scott Miller. It he is, changed right. it, though. He changed no, it because no, he no, used no. to be Scotty Miller. Well, you know why? Because he's trying to catch the wave. Mm. Sorry. Do, do you want to change? He's Scott Miller without Tom Brady. Scotty Miller with Tom Brady. Let's do you want to change or downgrade your assessment of great on Scotty, Scotty Barnes, Miller? Barnes' name is Scott also. No, it's not. It's Scotty. It's not. It's Scotty. Okay. It's Look it up. Scott. I would I like did. to downgrade. I did. Yeah, it's Scott, Scott, Scott Barnes. It's, it's a Scott, Scott Wayne Hold Barnes on. Jr. When you pull up NBA.com, it says Scott Bar Wayne Barnes Jr. Huh? <laughs> it says Scotty Barnes. Okay. The official website says Scotty Barnes. When he's introduced in those starting lineups, at one forward from Florida State University, Scotty Barnes. This man's name is Scott Barnes or Scott Miller mm -hmm. on NFL.com. Not not like full name Scott Montgomery Barnes. Not, I'm not saying that. He recently saying changed the main it though. I mean, thing. he used to be last year. He was Scotty Barnes when he played with Tom Brady. He was Scotty Barnes, 100. percent And that was with a Y. That was back then. We're not making Scotties anymore. That's my whole point. Come on, guys. Billy, why are you shaking your head? I'm just trying to get through the day, man. <laughs> All right, that's the spirit and attitude we want around here. That's the Metal Arc way. I I'm, look up someone's name and you're telling me it's wrong when I'm no, looking No, you're at looking it. up like his like government name. I'm talking about on the website, NFL.com, Scott Miller Stats, News and Video. Not I Scotty Mars. I don't Mars. understand this argument. You don't? His government name. No, you said, what's his name? I said, it's Scott. You said, no, no it's not. His and then you said Scott. you looked up his government name, which would be his name. His name is Scotty Barnes. This guy's name is Scott Miller. It's not that hard. Samantha! It's not semantics. It's a very big difference. You See, happen to be right. I, I hate am. to do this to Billy, but you yeah. happen to be right. Cool. Maybe I should Scott co Wayne Barnes Jr. No, no. It's a tough what day for doing? Billy to Wikipedia? Out. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, next thing you're going to tell me, you believe like the aliens were across the street. Oh, I, Wikipedia said it was, so maybe it's true. Oh, I, I'm Billy Gill. You've done I, like six different voices. I know. This is a, I've got a lot <laughs> of First you were representing the internet. You're like, oh, my name is Scooney Mutt. He hasn't been here in weeks, and he's got a number of gripes uh, with the show. <laughs> oh. The first one is he says that we dropped the ball with Reese Davis. Hmm. 
That's fair. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A thousand percent. How many mm. people are in this room? How many people? Yeah, how we many blow people? it. We blow it. How mm-hmm. How do you not start? You guys started with a dog? Or what was it? What did you guys start with? I don't remember. Football? Obsessed with dogs. His oh, hair. I don't no, get his it. hair. Well, well, yeah, we did. We yeah. called him oh, Prince. For like I wasn't there. Time. Yeah. I, was I, I knew you weren't there. I knew you weren't there. I knew Juju wasn't there either. Because there's no way... There's no, absolutely no way in hell you could start an interview. That was the biggest interview of the year. You guys caught Reese Davis, the first interview with Reese Davis since he used the word naysayer that swept the nation. Everyone lost their minds. And you guys were like, oh, so who do you like in the national country game? Oh, 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 football. Oh, why not? Oh, oh, do you think Alabama's gotten like, what are you talking about? Does it make it better or worse that we had the video ready? It was like in our prep, but we just didn't get to it. How do you not get to it? Hmm. Hey, hey. You want let, it now? Let's interview Draymond Green and ask him nothing about choking anyone out or getting people or getting suspended or wanting to retire. Let's ask him. So, Draymond, what do you think about the one two two press they ran against you guys last night? Because we're, we're a sports show. We asked Another questions. voice. <laughs> He's done 40 He's very of fired them. up. He man. has done 40 of them. He hasn't been at one of these He's microphones so right, in like well, three so weeks. Right. It, I've never been more ashamed of the show. You should I've be. never been more ashamed we of the show. We deserve this. They're like, you guys interviewed Reese Davis? Like, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. It's like, no, no, they interviewed Reese Davis. Like, no, it probably happened before that. No, 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 no. It was on this day. The day, like, and they didn't ask? I could not believe it. I went back and I listened to the segment. I'm like, holy shit. They're really just going to go through 12 and a half minutes with Reese Davis. Nothing. Not a, not even not even a, a little, hey, hey, McAfee's a kind of silly guy, huh? Nope. You guys just ask silly ass question. We've asked him about McAfee question. before. Though. Yes, about the dog, though. The dog? Lank was right there waiting for you. This it's, is, it's been here. I brought it to you guys. This video. Let's do it. This Nothing. is what happens, Tony, when you bring dogs in here. That's true. Now everyone's just 100%. thinking about dogs all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, where's the dog? Where's Willow? Oh, the dog. You have a dog. He has a dog. I have a dog, too. Oh, we have dogs. Don't you like when my dog does this? Dog, 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 dog. That's all you guys do. That's all you think about. You're never thinking about the big picture. Big picture. <laughs> the biggest viral video was this man saying naysayer not realizing that it was a euphemism for the word. Damn it, I had five more seconds. You timed it wrong. You timed it wrong. You came in too hard. I'm rusty. Don Lebertard. Offhanded to me and Chris before we started playing, he's like, seems like that Tony guy gets triggered pretty easily. (laughs) And I I laughed the hardest out loud I've ever laughed in my life. Stugatz. He's triggered pretty easily. (laughs) That guy. That's That's so ridiculous. It's crazy. It's crazy. Nah, people, know you know what I've realized? Know people yourself. love putting their athletic insecurities on me. Don't project that shit on me. You suck. Not my problem. Wow. Chris Cody leaves a game early. Oh, let's support Chris Cody. What? Whatever the f*** Billy does, let's support that. Mike Ryan, let's go to Buffalo. Oh, let's go to Buffalo. Like, give me a break. Tony, you totally proved that you weren't at all unhinged. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. This is the Dan Lebatar Show with the Stugat. You will get your football fix headed into the playoffs here with Diana Rossini. And uh, I believe Jamar Chase and T. Higgins are joining us together in a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, So we will get to that as well. But before we do that, because we have Amin El-Hassan here and there is a lot of interesting basketball to get to. I pronounced your name (laughs) wrong there, right? (laughs) Hassan Pfeffer. It's a fine man. Uh, It it sounded very – you know what? It would have been – Correctly pronounced if you were from London. Amin al is here. Well, I'll tell you what just happened here. I'm going to be totally honest with everybody involved. I'm uncomfortable with what Amin tried to do at the end of the last segment. Uh, if you're going to do that, you have to get the timing right. I got mm-hmm. to. I you, got, you, 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 you got to stick the landing. You, you, you have yeah. to there. If you're going to play on that dangerous line... Uh, you can't bail and pull the parachute four seconds early, uh, or if you pull the parachute four seconds late, you know what happens to everybody involved in the pulling of a parachute four seconds late. You were you were just playing with fire there in a way that was unpleasant. It's funny because in this case, it, it would actually be the opposite. If I pulled the parachute early, disaster strikes. If I pull it late, it would have been just... Well, instead, though, what you did is you stared at me. We're falling down the sky, and the parachute needs to be pulled at exactly the right time. And what you looked at... You looked at me and you're like, I'm four seconds early. 
<laughs> the worst possible ending. It, it's not. It's <laughs> not. It, it's. It's. It was not. Your timing was off. I'd rather splat. Your your rage. Your rage was. Uh, your your energy level was through the roof. You yeah. rarely come in here that hot and uh, unleashed as many na- as many impersonations in five minutes as you did there. I'm 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 experiencing energy spikes all through 2024. So far, this is what day 10. Energy spikes through the roof. Is it the dry January? It's the dry January, I think. Oh, wow. I think this is what happens. Like, I've needed copious amounts of alcohol to keep my personality even keeled and, like, and just, you know, consistent. And now, without that shackle holding me back a little bit, I'm bursting out is the it, seams. Is it, is it dry with alcohol yeah. or alcohol and caffeine? Which one are you and Roy doing? What's caffeine? Coffee, tea. That's I don't. Thing. I don't drink I any. Of thank you, Robin. Mm. Yeah, it's just alcohol for me. Like I drink tea, uh, but there's definitely no caffeine or uh, energy spike over here. I'm just. You look eating. drowsy. Still tired. We've you, noticed, Roy. You look drowsy. <laughs> you always look a little bit drowsy. Recently, you've gotten the caffeine spike of the Panthers have won eight in a row, and so you seem to have a little more energy. But right now, mm-hmm. you look sleepy. Uh, somewhere between sleepy and despondent. Well, that that happens when you have children, Dan. Ah, right. At a late that, game yeah. last night at St. Louis, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's not really a late game. I mean, the game started at eight o'clock. Oh, that's late for me. Uh, it's late for you. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. 30, anything past the 7 30 yes. start? <laughs> yeah. Seems like uh, Matthew Kachuk's back, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once the uh, calendar flipped, so did he. In period hat trick, huh? Yeah, the natural hat trick. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love whenever someone says someone's back, you have to say it like Magic Johnson. You say, guys, Matthew Kachuk is officially back. There was like a six-year span where Maddie Johnson every year declared that the dunk contest was back. Every time anyone would do it. And it never was. (laughs) And it never was. But it's like, guys, the dunk contest is officially back. It went away, but now it's officially back. And John Morant has run through the same. Uh, He was back, and it was exciting that he was back, and now he is gone for the the season. Mm. Uh, The Grizzlies looked – I mean, that was – Startling, right? A couple of years ago, when Ja was out for a while, they went something like twenty-two and four mm-hmm. or something, and looked just as good. And Memphis started the season worse than anybody, like no. uh, except Detroit. <laughs> well, except, yes. except, With except the Detroit. highest paid coach but, in the NBA. Yeah, but I Detroit mean, didn't have any more. expectations for Memphis. Uh, Memphis has expectations, and their season has been ruined. And the atmosphere around their games is awful because that's a really great basketball town. That. That that town doesn't have a lot else when it comes to sports identity. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I imagined you saying that like John Taffer. John Taffer would call Memphis a really great basketball town. These people love their hoops. So what do we want? We want to have a concept that brings them in. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. That's only when he's angry. Tony's doing the thing where he's he he kind of looks around something invisible in front of him. That's only when he's angry and he's yelling at you. But when he's trying to tell you about a really great basketball town, Memphis, they love their town. Gotta call it Hoops Town, though. Yeah. Like a really good Hoops Town. So we're gonna get a bar concept here that brings people in. Why are you doing that? Because you said it's a good. Because you said Memphis is a great basketball town. <laughs> Dry month, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. The energy is through the roof. Can you feel it? Is it? Is there osmosis? Does everybody else feel it? Billy, I know you feel it. Look at it. I'm feeling I'm radiant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's my guy in the back row. I'd like to feel slightly less of it. Less energy? <laughs> slightly less. Less energy. Slightly less. Oh, man. Show me your range here. Let's go. T- yeah. Bring it okay. down Oh, well, I'll do the Fred Van Vliet. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so. You want a cigarette? Or? Uh, oh, that would be great. <laughs> Can we all, are we allowed to smoke in here? No? Okay. Yes. <laughs> sure. So give him, give him a cigarette. I tried. I mean, give him a cigarette. I had to go out to the car. Okay. okay. Well, you don't have a cigarette on well, you? You don't have, have a car. car. That cannot be true. true. That's an I have to go to the car. Go ahead. I believe you. No, probably not. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and let's you know. not smoke yeah, a cigarette in there. No, he's got to go. back at five. I'm going to have one. He's going to go have one. Exactly. So Sunday night, the Memphis. He's never been so happy to leave mid-segment. Bye. 
Uh, Billy muttered under his breath with genuine remorse. Bad at, he's red. Billy never gets embarrassed. He is he's red with shame at like why how do I not know better at this point in my career that yeah. if I mention a bad idea, Dan's going to seize it, he's gonna grab it, and it's gonna become a thing we do. Well, I'm also I, looking around to see the sprinkler situation. Cause like there's ju- not just the smoking shouldn't be going on in that room and then everything will stink and you're not gonna get that smell out of there. But like there's also equipment in there that will get wet if there's a flame or whatever and it goes off for some we reason. Did we did the cigarette? fog machine the other day Hold and on. it was fine. I've been working okay. on my judgment. This is not a good idea. Wait a second. <laughs> Are we trying to say that if you smoke a cigarette, the smoke alarm and detectors will go off and the sprinklers will go That's off? That's generally how it works, no? no? So yeah. if you smoke a cigarette? I have never tested it. I assume no, any I, smoke... No, I don't think it'll go off, but if it does, then Can you I'm on record, I think this is not a good idea. Okay, everyone is on record as saying that this is a bad idea, but Stugatz has gone to his car to like get uh, cigarettes, and we're going to try this. And what we're going to Carl, try... You didn't, you didn't even get me one? What we're going Carl, to he's going to smoke a cigarette! No, I got you one. What okay. we're going to try to do I don't is... I think he's here today. Uh, Amin is going to try and give, in his most relaxed form, an, he's going to create a new character, which is basketball take guy, who gives takes while relaxed and smoking a cigarette indoors, giving off relaxed rule breaker. Can we smoke weed in here? Asking for a friend. Depends. Oh. Rolled up or vape? Hmm. What friend? What's the difference? <laughs> Big difference. It's it's a huge difference. Huge difference. Huge actually. difference. Huge difference. Huge difference. Huge difference. Uh, let's get him a lighter as well because I mean, does I think not we're good. Ha- the bits work. Yeah, no, no, oh, okay, come on. Like, like, really, we don't. Oh, have we're gonna, oh, the, to the equipment. Do this. The we're equipment. already there. It's a bad idea, we're already man. there. It, it would be funny if as soon as you light it, the sprinklers go. <laughs> <laughs> video <laughs> take. <laughs> video take care of that. Well, hopefully, as soon as the as soon as the water comes down, I'll get all of the photos of a rage filled coach Darko behind me, so that it's just a, I, so that I get everything I want at the same time. Uh, let's do this. I What's mean, the payoff here? Uh, just smoky. Well, the payoff is not not doing it. So now we're in too deep. I never know what. We're not though. I mean, you're, you're allowed to abort, to Dan. I mean, no, yeah. I, it's, can it's, we just take a video team stay, out you know? there with him? Listen, if Billy offers a bad idea and it results in us all getting soaked, <laughs> that's that's a winner. But I I do think though that the smoke machine, a dry ice machine that we had in here to announce the all the smoke partnership produces slightly more smoke than what a mean smoking a cigarette will produce. I also think they turned off the smoke detectors for that day. Wasn't there a fire in this building on Friday? Was the, there? The alarm's always going off. Yeah, but everything's dry, so it seems like the sprinklers didn't go off. There or it go. didn't work. So if there was an actual <laughs> fire... Yeah. You think all the sprinklers work? You know what I was wondering about those sprinklers? Is it like the... You know in every chemistry, chemistry class you have that shower in the corner that everyone's like... Oh, what happens if you pull it and then there's yeah. always like the one class clown that pulls it and you realize like, oh my God, I didn't realize water can come out that fast yeah. in that volume. <laughs> I wonder if that's what these sprinklers are like because I feel like these are just like a pss, 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 and then that's it and it wouldn't put out a fire. We are going to try this oh, and boy. see if Amin has gotten any better at timing than he was in the last segment because <laughs> we're going to give the floor to Amin. I'm, I'm being real here. I just got someone in my ear, yeah. a high up saying, please don't. Don't do that. Mm. Don't do what? Mm. Who was the high up? What, what is wow. it? Don't do what? Now we're going to start listening to the high ups. But no one's higher than Dan. I, mean. I say don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I say don't do it. I vote no. I'm voting no. Oh was boy. it GQ? Oh if it was boy. GQ, we should listen. Mm. Yeah. Prevent water from getting on this <laughs> I just here. saw Mal Skipper. Skipper? Uh, well, I do believe it is reckless to do that. And uh... <laughs> All right. Again, I'm going to have to feud with Skipper. We haven't had one of these since uh, the pepper. <laughs> yeah. Can someone, oh, bet the no. cig- can someone bet the cigarette for me? <laughs> Yeah, I'll vet it. Bring it in here. Give it to me. I'll vet <laughs> They're it. They're good. I vetted them. All right. All right. The first thing I need from video is I need all the rage faces of Coach Darko somewhere behind me, please. I uh, thank you. That's good. That's excellent oh, work wow. by you guys. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, these he looks are, like Tom Sizemore. An assortment. He does. An assortment of rage. Tom Sizemore. Uh, the late Tom Sizemore. Uh, R.I.P. Smoke one for him. Uh, you're gonna smoke one for him now. Oh no, no. All right. Oh no. The, 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 this is the hottest of take. It's got actual fire in it. We've got 90 seconds here. Need backup. Oh boy. Of Amin El Hassan, and there's gonna be extra smoke when me and Skipper have to go at it because I've broken the rules here on smoking and when indoors. When I smoke weed, I mean. 
You have 90 <laughs> seconds, I mean, to tell us everything you think about John Moran and none of the recycled stuff from Oddball. I've heard that and it's good, but if people want the exclusive stuff, it's at Oddball. What are you laughing about, Tony? I just told Stu in his headphones, like, imagine this is setting the precedent that we can go to the Supreme Court with that Stu got can come back to the old days of smoking oh. On indoors. air, oh, indoors. indoors. This is it. setting the precedent right now. So if Stu got, if 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 he lights that cigarette, Amin does. What Stu gonna... has all the precedent to okay. go out and smoke every single day in the studio. <laughs> this it's is like electron- right. do it. This what are you gonna do with Six the ash? inside. What's what's gonna we happen? We should get with the, the ash. ashtray from outside. Folks, by the way, it's forty five seconds. <laughs> I love left. a good payoff. What is the payoff? Let's get it. A right cigarette being lit. Let's get Morton Downey Jr. What man are we even sticking it to here? Can I ask that? Like, there's no man that's stopping us. Let's go. Let's. Let's go. What is this? 40 seconds are left. Let's see what happens. There may indeed not be a payoff. So so here's the deal. So I, I, I went to Suns Grizzlies on, on Sunday, and that this was when he was questionable to play. And then I was walking out to the court, and they stopped us because there were players coming out. And I said, what players are coming out? The game's about to start. And it was Ja, and he had his arm in a sling. And I said, oh, that doesn't look good. So... <laughs> well, just like that segment's over, so, it's time uh, for Diana on, Rossini. We, we got, got 10 seconds so, left. Hold on, so, so we got 10 seconds this left. This is my hot take. Don't do it. Lighter doesn't work. Damn, you can't predict that. Oh. No! No! Oh, a... And you have Good an for Memphis. <laughs> you held it like weed. Good for Memphis is the take! Attention shoppers, we now have taste in the bread aisle. Dave's Killer Bread. That's right, an organic bread that's no longer a snooze for your taste buds. Dave's Killer Bread is on a mission to make the most of the loaf, to rid the world of GMOs, high fructose corn syrup, and artificial ingredients, and plant the seeds of good in all that they bake. Killer taste, killer texture, and always organic. Dave's Killer Bread. Bread amplified.